Okay, what we got? Oh, we got... Th oh, mate. Galakrond or we got Thorim. I'm actually going to go Thorim, man. All right, let's see what tier 7 minion I get. Quill balls are in the game as well, which is amazing. Oh, wow. We got Sanguine Champion. What are the other ones? So, Champion of Sargeras, I'm not a massive fan on, to be honest with you. I'm not a massive fan. Choose a different minion in the tavern to get a copy of. I mean, see which can be really good, but I'm actually going to go Sanguine Champion. Qu Quill ball all the way, man. Quill ball all the way. This could get quite silly. This could get quite silly. A scallywag on the board there? No? Okay. Oh, he might have gone for Swabble. He's upgrading. He's upgrading. Okay, he's going to immediately go to tier 2, isn't he? I just need to spend as much money as quick as I can, really, basically. So I'm going to level. That was a bit strange. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he had a scallywag. Whatever. It is what it is. We're a bit of tempo, at least. We're going to do this. We're going to steal a minion. That's actually really good. That's literally amazing. Got a gold for next turn. We got a 4 3 and a 4 2. That's fat. Got an extra gold. Anything that gives us extra gold so we can get Sanguine Champion. I need to get to tier 3. Get to tier 3 so I can get Jazza, Piper potentially. Have a good battle, friend. Yeah, we're fine. Nice little tie there. The battle is really raging <laughs> Could level. Could level. Could buy apples, play it, and get two more minions for some tempo. What I'm going to do is buy apples. Buy refreshing anomaly. Refresh for free. See what I get. Wasn't really anything better, to be honest with you. No elemental either. I want to buy a minion, though. Yo, fam solo. I appreciate the follow on TikTok. I appreciate that. I'm going to play this. And I'm going to play Soul Rewinder. It's a minion, right? It's a minion. It's a minion that still gives me something on the board. And we're still spending gold, so. Are you ready for the chill? Okay. I mean, fair. Fair, it's fine. I don't mind taking a bit of a hit now. It's okay. Could just level. Because then that gives me a potential to get a Jazza next turn, which I'm going to start needing anyway. I could just take the hit. Keep that for next turn. Oh, I've got a Soul Rewinder. What the hell am I talking It'd be stupid for me not to do that. What am, I, what, what am I even talking about? I was actually contemplating whether to take Hasty Excavation, but completely forgetting how to Soul Rewinder. It's nuts. At least we got a board with a bit of tempo. We've got something going on here. We've got 39 gold left until we can play Sanguine Champion. And then we have to go into we have to go into Quill Ball. So now that I'm tier three, now we can get Jazza. Bandit. I, I wouldn't mind getting Bandit or Buffoon. So I can start scaling some things. He's got a lava lurker, he's got a um, yeah, I lose this, I think. I mean, that wasn't a... It was okay hits. I'll take a five. It's fine. We have to take a few hits, I think. Now, I could level, but I don't need to. We don't need to level. Put a taunt on you. Put a taunt on you. Okay. Living as right is good for the elemental side of things, but it's not good for the quill ball side of things. I'll take gold curve next time. And just so I'm spending money. It was okay. It was an okay term. Looking for Jazza. I'm looking for Piper or something. I want to start transitioning into quill balls. We've got no quill balls on the board. And we've got a tier 7 sanguine champion in like 30 gold left. So that's where the quill balls have been going. To this guy. Go 
Can we kill the oozing gladiator at least? Yeah, okay. We, we gotta take another hit. Is what it is. This is fine. We got a triple, which is pretty fat. I could level here. Which I'm actually gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Tier five. Alright. We got Bongo Bopper. I like that. I would have liked to the Drakari Enchanter as well for the future turns, but now we're transitioning. I like that. We could take the Feedy Gambler for next turn as well. We'll sell that. We'll buy this. Got one gold there. I'd rather sell the Oozing Gladiator to play that for next turn. Let's give stats to the uh, Bongo Boy. Okay, not a bad turn. Next turn, we've got three extra gold. 15 gold left, and then we actually can play the Sanguine Champion. Sanguine Champion and Bongo Bopper go hand in hand alone together, because at the end of the turn, you get two Blood Gems and then play two more on him. So those two are going to scale each other, which is lovely. Just need to start getting the rest of the team together. Once we've got the team together, once the band's together, we are laughing. I just need to have the same luck. Oh, Jackson's dead. He's, he's out of the game. Damn. He conceded. He left. Okay, we're talking. We got Rogoog. Nice. We got Bandit. That's nice for scaling. We also got a bit of gold there from Shell Collector. We love to see it. We also sell you for a bit of gold. Let's play you. We love to see things like that, man. We love to see things like that. Okay. Another Bandit. Love to see it. That's more scaling. Sorrowinder, you're officially gone. Uh, that's, uh, I don't want Tough Tusk, actually. Oh! Oh, man. We got we got Jazza. We got Buffoon. Oh, we can start scaling. We can start scaling. Can I sell these two to get Buffoon? Let's take Jazza first. Sanguine Champion is now on the board as well, which is really good. I could sell my two elementals and play a coin to get Buffoon, which I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do this because I want to start scaling, right? That will give me more blood gems next turn, man. Oh, yeah. Play Bandit as well. Might take a little hit here. There is a potential for it. But overall, really nice turn. We got the Bopper, Rogug, Buffoon, and Sanguine Champion all in one turn. And the Jazz on there. That, and a Bandit. Yeah, that was fat. That was really fat. I don't actually need the Buffoon where I've got the Bongo Stopper. Because my Bandit would... I get two blood gems from that anyway, so. He's dead. We've got a 64% chance of winning. Death rattles with his ribbon there. Pretty fat for him. And we win. We're climbing. And we're only getting stronger from here. We moved up to second place. We're going against the pirate dude again. Look at all those blood gems, man. Three, four blood gems already. Ho, ho. I'm very confident I'm going to play that for the gold curve. Let's try and get a triple on potentially something here. Could play a battle cry minion. Maybe get another Jazza, maybe. Screw it. See what happens. Gem smuggler. That's that's. I could actually save that, to be fair. I, could, I don't have to play gem smuggler just yet because it's going to start getting buffed from this guy. 3-4 three, three, is actually pretty fat, though. I might actually play it. Like, 3-4 is actually really fat. Yeah, it is. Get rid of that, buy that, play that, get Buffoon, do this, Rogue Gug in the middle, and then just... Yeah, man. We're scaling. We're scaling. We got damage, so we get blood gems from the bopper. We're getting blood gems from the buffoons. These two are going to give me more blood gems. We're scaling because this gives me plus one, plus one every single game. Uh, this game is called Hearthstone, by the way. Uh, this is basically a game by Blizzard, the same people that made Overwatch. Um, and it's basically a card game. And this is the Battlegrounds version. 
in, in hindsight, it's a card game. You basically scale up your monsters, you gain health and attack, you play different tactics, and you win. Or you lose. We got a 95% win rate right now, though. Bramble Witch is hitting all of the correct minions, realistically. This guy's going Bramble Witch for just the scam. Yeah, he knew. He knew. That's a big hit. That's a nice 15 to the face. Mate, Thorim and Quillbore. It's just so good. There's the blood gems, all at four fives right now. I we're leveling, right? We we are hundred percent leveling. We're putting that on there to get that as a taunt. We could actually get a bramble, which is well set up. I might just buy it for future. Right now, I don't really need to do anything. I need to just get a triple because I'm a little bit bored locked. So we're just now going to go like this, 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 like this. Okay. So he's got a rogue gog himself. He has a gem smuggler. But he doesn't have the bongo bopper. And realistically, I'm scaling a lot quicker because I got the blood gems to do it. That's a nice 14. Nice. Oh, another bongo bopper in the uh, the shop there. Let me just play one blood gem. Okay, let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. Battle cry minions, tier five. Mm, this game seems so confusing, but you look like you're good at it. Uh, I'm pretty good. I'm getting a lot better at it, that's for sure. I could get a gem smuggler by playing that, right? Or do I try? Do I try and get a triple? I want to try and get a triple, man. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna get rid of one of my bandit. I'm actually gonna get rid of this buffoon, right? By my hand is full. Apparently, Are you kidding me? Do this. Get the cleave up. Because I can also get that ability that allows me to steal gems from something and put it on a different minion, so we'll be fine later on. But I feel like having a cleave right now is 100% the way forward. We're getting blood gems from the bongo bopper, so I don't really think I need the buffoon anymore. Nice cleave. Man's really annoyed. I appreciate you liking the live as well, Tonya. I appreciate that. Realistically, I should probably get rid of the uh, buffoon right now and start playing the other Bongo Bopper. Because Bongo Bopper's going to buff itself up naturally. And it gives me the gems for the bandits anyway. So, yeah, we, we, we need to get rid of the, uh, the buffoon guy now. Bongo, Bongo Bopper on the field, for sure. Wow. Look at that. These guys are all dead already. It's just me and the uh, lich. Me and the lich left. Crazy. I, I'm, I'm leveling then, I guess. We're tier six. It's a Bramble Witch. And there's Pokey. Wicked. We got Pokey for next turn. Let's play some Blood Gems. And we'll always play two on the Cleave anyway, just in case. We, we want to bump that Cleave up. She's probably not expecting me to go uh, with a bit of a cleave. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. All right, let's go pokey. We could actually play the Eyes of the Earth Mother and just make the Mangle Bandit gold anyway. Could could just do that. I think I will. I think I actually will do that. Just do that. Sell that guy. Do this. Perfect. And there's a gem confiscation if I need it. Nice. Let's play two on the cleave. And let's get that guy to 200 HP. Guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah, there's the fell bat I was expecting. Okay, at the moment... Stat-wise, she is definitely winning. 
Just because of the soul rewinder. I'm taking a hit. I'm taking a hit. But I feel like maybe I'm stronger in a couple of turns. I might just buy that fell bat so she can't get it. I'm, I could be really picky, but I'm, I need to work on my own board. Okay, let's see if I can get a triple here. Can I get a triple? Divine shield would be fat. Going to buy that just in case. Could have got a new hero power, but I'm looking for a triple, mate. Okay. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is, uh, how are we going to play this? How are we going to play this? What does that board look like? She's got the Urzul taunt, which is going to keep at the other end. <laughs> Urzul's going to get pretty buffed, so my cleave's not going to win. So what we need to do is play this on that. Sell that. Bramble Witch needs to come onto the field. But before we do that, let's get the Divine Shield. Bramble Witch then goes on the field. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's fine. And that's how it's going to be. That That's kind of okay. Bramble Witch is like guaranteed... I didn't play my shield. What an idiot. I didn't play my divine shield like an absolute mole. Good lord. What am I doing? Okay, well at least we got rid of Urzul, right? It makes, the, makes it a bit of an even playing field. He's got Cultist though. That didn't do much, so that's fine. Nice. And I did that without a divine shield. I'm very lucky. So Bramble Witch hitting Urzel is pretty fat right now. Nice work out there. We love to see it. I lost Divine Shield, sadly. But I could have won. It doesn't matter now. Um, Hero Power, what we got? Swatting Insects. That is so fat. Swatting Insects is so fat. That could actually be a game changer. That actually could be a game changer. All right, chat. He's probably got a bit of scam, right? Is he going a bit of scam? He's got the divine shield. He took the extra divine shield. Respectable. We don't mind that hit. That hit was really good. Yep. And my, my rogue is just too strong. Can we get a triple? To just finalize things. That's really fat. Okay, Bristleback's really good. Especially maybe better than Bandit right now. But I haven't got Charwagger to buff up the entire board. I'm going to take... I'm going to... I'm going to take it and consider it in a minute, maybe. Alright. We're definitely playing that regardless. Do, do I... Is it too late to play that? Because it's Avenge 2, play 12 to 13. So I'm going to get an extra 22, 26. Get out of Pokey. I could get out of Pokey. Because I have got the champion. Oh, do you know what? Fuck it, we're doing it. I'm getting rid of Pokey. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, am I going to regret that? I don't know. Too fair. The 1 plus 1 is not going to make a massive deal, right? But being able to play two blood, like blood gems and all your cool ball could be really fat. Oh, we hit his Urzul. We hit his Urzul, which is really fat. That was really fat hits. That was really fat hits. Bramble Witch didn't need to hit. We would rather the Bramble Witch have hit something a bit different there. But it's fine. Okay, we tied. We tied. 3.5% of tying. I've got another pokey in the in the in the thing. We don't want another pokey though. We want a bongo realistically, right? There's the bongo. Now we're talking. And now I could have really dealt and had the other guy. 
but it's fine. Uh, glutinous can be really fat. Glutinous can be really, really fat. Cleave can be fat as well. But I'm not going to be able to buff the cleave up massively, mate. I could put a lot of cleave on it. Joe, you know, I think you might be right. Because I, I, I'm quite strong. Should we just buff the cleave up? Should we just go absolutely fucking wild, mate? Oh my god, actually, what am I doing? Cleave on the far left. I get, I get wind fury, divine shield, and taunt. Swatting insects on that is going to be massive. How did I not even think about that? Good shout, Ramsey. Good shout, brother. In case we lose this fight. Has he gone scam? He's gone Leroy scam. He's got a bit of Leroy scam in there. And a bit of wind fury, my man. Oof. Okay. Leroy hit the bramble, which... Kind of okay, actually. And he's dead. Oh, mate. Thorim Quillbore. That is the fourth game like that. You never lose. If you want to play Quillbore and you get Thorim, do it. It works every time. It works every damn time. Oh. Never lost playing Thorim. With Quillbores, at least. Probably have lost playing him with other, other ones, but...